Good morning, Panorama. I wanted to share something with you this morning, and that is um, something for Christmas for your children. When I was a kid, I was very, very, very spoiled at Christmas time. I got so many presents. It was actually ridiculous. And I still get a lot of presents. Um, I was very spoiled. However, my grandmother, she was very wise, and she gave me this um, Samaritan's Purse Christmas catalog every Christmas and said that in addition to all of your Christmas gifts you get this year, I want to... I want you to pick out a Christmas gift for another kid somewhere else in the world that is in need. So I would read through this entire book. But there was usually about 40 gifts and I would read every single one. And it was very humbling as a child to be able to read that, you know, children in Nigeria have congenitive heart failure and they need people to pay for them to come get a heart surgery. Or children in uh, India, you can pay nine dollars and feed a hungry baby for a week and then it gives scripture explaining um you know how how this is christ like to do that so i just want to share this video with you because when i was a kid i always um bought the christmas gifts that were either to stock a fish pond or to buy baby chickens um to stock to give a village livestock and if I only got to pick one gift, I wanted my money to go further as a, as a child. That's how I thought. And I always thought to myself, I wonder what it would be like um, to see those people receive this, you know, box of baby chickens that I was able to get for them. Or I wonder what it would be like to see these people receive um, their pond, their fish pond to be stocked because that's what I did as a kid. I paid for that. So here as an adult, I went on to Samaritan's Purse website and I saw this video and it shows them doing exactly that and it was very humbling. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you have kids, to have them read this book or show it to them and have them uh, pick out a gift to give another child somewhere across the world. Thanks. Do the animal and agricultural project with Samaritan's Purse. We'll give a fruit tree, we'll give an animal. We try to give the education to make it sustainable for people to be able to live off the land. We want this gift that we bring along to last so we can solve some of the problems that are destroying this community. Foya and the Lofa district was known as the breadbasket of Liberia. They produced a lot of their own rice. It really was an amazing, agriculturally strong county. Unfortunately, the war brought much of that to a halt. Rice is a staple here in Liberia, and everyone really is a farmer. And so helping people reestablish their farms was of great importance for, for the people here, because that is their livelihood. There is a lot of suffering in this world, but with the little that we can provide through these programs, it does something huge for families. When you take a poor family, an animal that all of a sudden now they're able to take care of their children better, you've changed your life. Antes de que la bolsa samaritana los trajeran los cabritos, me sentía triste porque no teníamos leche para darle al niño. Pues yo me siento alegre y feliz porque ya les, ya estamos tomando leche y que el niño pueda crecer mejor. Coming to a family, bringing a goat or bringing a cow or bringing a chicken, you start to talk to them. When you start to make a friendship, they start to open their hearts and then you have the opportunity to use those gifts to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just by helping one single family or a few families in a single community, it can have a huge effect because these families will often want to share what they've heard, what they've received through um, the Samaritan's Purse programs. And this can have a huge effect and transform communities for the better. And eventually in, in the world, if you think about it, if just one individual is caring for another and you have the cycle going around and around like that, it can dramatically change the world. Thank <laughs> you.